ladies and gentlemen, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Fortress Craft Evolved, the Frozen Factory DLC. We're now on day four, and uh, I can't believe we're on day four already. Wow, this is going by really quickly. I have taken the liberty of finishing off some of our logistics, just to make it a little bit cleaner, and uh, of course, finishing off these shafts um, all the way down, except for a few odds and ends where we have to do some super digging. But otherwise, I, I think this is a much better system, so we're going to have our power going right down the center of the two shafts that will uh, channel all the way down into both the iron and the lithium mine. And I think we'll do different shafts all together for the uh, nickel and molybdenum. molybdenum. <laughs> I think I pronounced that correctly, but yeah, so I think this will work much, much better. Now, uh, I'm going to do a couple things before I start getting into some of the nitty gritty of getting the, because we need to get this, the iron and the lithium finished off in terms of automation, which means we need to get some conveyor belts going, but I want to do a little bit more research. I would like to get the laboratories done. Automation. Hold on. Building a huge mining operation is a job for machines, not mad. This wide-ranging project will design machines for automated excavation and construction, in addition to improving the options available to ver uh, for traversing your base. This research should be a high priority for the essential automation of our base. Doing this by hand is simply never going to work. I'm not sure what that's going to open up. Let's grab that. And, oh, the spider bot! Oh, yes! Our modular spider combat robot can be used for many tasks, but we're going to need a docking and upgrade station for it. I didn't even think about it, but yeah, we have, I haven't seen the spider bot, so I guess you don't get it right from the beginning. Uh, basic mining upgrades, basic logistics, requires a laboratory. Ah, we're getting into the stuff that requires laboratories. I'm not going to get the spider bot defenses quite yet. Um, is there anything else here? Whoa, look at all this heist. Automatically removes items from adjacent storage hoppers and transmit, oh, within five meters. Oh, uh, I'm not sure what to think about that. Uh, or auto organic thief. A handy method of removing unwanted organic parts from your inventory. Place in a 3x3 layout, then stand on it. Requires a small amount of power and attached to a storage hopper. The barkeeper. What is all this stuff? Automatically removes bars from players when they leave the server. Oh, very little use for single player, but also works as an orthy. I see. This is actually great. That's actually a great thing when you're playing multiplayer. Because I remember in the short stint that I played multiplayer, um, people would leave and they'd take all the stuff with them. And it's like, no, or thief. I think I saw this one before. A handy method of removing ores from your inventory place. A three by three layout and then stand on it requires a small amount of power and attached to a storage hopper. Look at all this stuff. This is crazy. Garbage thief. Uh, same thing, except it removes garbage. Waypoint machine. Give this... Place this and give power to auto-generate a waypoint. Override the waypoint name by placing an adjacent sign. What? Emergency siren. I've seen that before. Uh, three and one zipper merge. What is going on? Rapidly combines two lines into one in the order are right, 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 left. Use this to make research pod assembly a dawdle. What? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Spiderbot charger. Seen that. Spiderbot base component. Wow, so much new stuff. The macerator, yes, the servo motos, are, they're going to be important for things. I'll grab those and the iron gears. Those are components for building things as well as the lightweight housing or lightweight machine housing. That's going to be important. The auto excavator. Now, the auto builder. Actually, before I build the auto builder, I'm not going to actually build it because apparently, apparently, um, I heard a rumor that you can now use super build to build conveyor builds. Now, this is totally new. And... Oh, wow, that is incredible. Now, the reason that's really relevant to me is because I remember watching the streams with the developer of, uh, like, DJ, uh, the developer, um, and talking about these things, Go, and I just got the impression that he was never going to make that a thing. Like, it never used to work like that. Okay, but that being said, um, I'm not going to do any more research because there's just already so much to think about there. Um, I'm going to start doing our conveyor belt system. Let's craft. Uh, we're going to need... So, I, as you can see, I've got a bunch of bars ready to go here. I think that's probably good. I would also like... Oh, before I go any further, let's get our suit power pack. Yes! Yes, I have some lithium, of course, uh, created. Let's get that in our inventory. Let's throw that in our suit upgrades. Perfect. That raises our power limit up to 512. Very, very nice. Very nice. That is going to increase our longevity downstairs substantially. Okay, so let's get to work. Let's build the automation system for the iron mine first get that out of the way now i've been told that the because i didn't remember the uh whatchamacallit the uh uh the minox the minox don't start to appear until 80 minus 80 so this iron mine oh actually if i put this so you'll notice i made some changes down here too just to make things a little bit easier for today and going forward so if we do that 
if we put that storage hopper right there, theoretically, we shouldn't have any mana problems with our iron mine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a conveyor belt here. And then I'm going to go over to here. So you know, I want it to be going up from this location, like right here. Actually, I'm going to just temporarily block this thing off just so it makes it easier for me to actually build that conveyor all the way up. Yeah, but theoretically, I mean, I should be able to go like this and then, so oh, I can't even see it. Hold on, let's see if we put some more light in there. I might be able to see that. No, uh, well, oh yeah, I can kind of see it. Hold on. So I've got the end piece there, and then I can just go, as long as I can actually select it, like that, and do super du super build. Oh, that is so great. That is so much easier. That is so much easier than what it used to be. Amazing. Amazing. That is so good. Okay. <laughs> that being said and done, I should be able to do the same thing here. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is amazing. <laughs> um, you know, I know why I know why the developer didn't want to set this up. He thought maybe it might have been just it might have made the game too easy to do something like that, but uh uh it it's actually it's actually quite great. <laughs> that's actually amazingly good. Um whoops, that's not what I wanted. Um hmm. So we're gonna have to do a corner here. Like so. And just go over here, go like this. Whoops. <laughs> uh, there we go. And then like that. Um, yeah, that's still... Yeah, I'm going to have to finish it off by hand, I guess. Whoops. I uh, keep hit hitting all the buttons at the same time is not a good plan. Okay, I see. Okay, so I've got to remove this one, and we're going to add... I guess, I don't know if... Hold on. I might be able to just go like that. Whoops. Except with the conveyor belts. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Oh my god, that's amazing. That is so much easier. That is so much easier. And that's all, you know, it almost finishes off the whole conveyor system for the iron mine in one go. How beautiful is that? Now I kind of blocked this thing all off. Nope, not working. Hello. Did I break it? I think I broke my uh, elevator. <laughs> Somebody in the comments was like, premature elevation. I, the last episode, premature elevation. I thought that was super funny, but then I think funny. I think weird things are kind of funny. Okay, so I think we're good to go. Let's let's go back up. I don't know why this elevator is not working. I must hold on. It might still be blocked off. Just one sec here. Ah, that's weird. I don't know why it's not working. Weird. Okay, that's fine. Ah. Huh. I guess we'll, it doesn't matter right now anyway. It's, it's only working halfway, so it's not a huge deal. So we can go back up to the top here. And then finish this off. I guess I have to do it in increments. I can't do it all at once. And then just go control. Bloop. Oh, but what about where I'm standing right now? Okay, so, I mean, you still kind of got to mess around a little bit. Oh, man. A test of my, uh... Hello! A test of my abilities with the grapple. Come on, come over there! Oh, I had it, too. There we go, beautiful. <laughs> sort of sloppy, but beautiful. There we go. Excellent, so that's done. And then, actually, I should be able to reach it from the top, I think. Woo! Almost fell there. Fell to my death. So, it's it's easier, but it does add some interesting challenges to this. Done! There is our conveyor belt for iron already upstairs. I love it. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, so there's there's a, a machine that allows you to auto build conveyors too, but uh, yeah, totally unnecessary. Totally unnecessary now. Kind of a useless kind of a useless object now. I guess I I don't know. I suppose you could still you you might still want to do it if it's if uh, I don't know if you're going through through stone and, or through uh, through other materials and stuff. But uh, yeah, that works out really well. Quite pleased. Quite pleased with that. So should be able to go like that. Rotate that and then come around here. 
Uh, I guess I can't see it, so we'll go control build there. Whoops. Control build, rotate. Oh man, that is, that is, that is a total, a beautiful welcome change to the game. I love that because, you know, it, it was a bit of a pain uh, building your conveyor belts. I mean, not that bad. I mean, I suppose that wouldn't have been that difficult to build that conveyor belt because we could have just stood on the bottom and then, you know, built it all the way up. But there we go. There is our iron conveyor going into our, uh, going into our system to refine ore. Fantastic. Now, with our lithium, that's going to be a little bit more difficult because um, we need to get some defenses for the line. Otherwise, the Minox are going to eat the eat all of the uh, all of the ore on the line, and that hive mind is just going to get bigger and it's going to destroy our base. That hive mind is very close to our base. So, uh, what's next? I think we need to build we need to build some research manufacturing stuff. Here we oh I thought this was it maybe not oh here it is yes so we need a stamper plant. PC. Yeah, we need all of these. We need absolutely all of these. And, okay, so the stamper plant, we have to build that before we can build the extrusion, then the coiler. Right, because we, we need materials from each and every one. So let's craft the stamper plant. First, let's get that down. Doesn't really matter at this point. All of this is going to be changed anyway. And let's get, uh, I guess, I guess, you know, I guess I'll build some storage hoppers. I guess. Actually, before I do that, let's, let's finish off the line here. I just, I was a little nervous about Minox. Let's finish off our iron line. I might have to... Whoops. Uh, ow. <laughs> I might have to uh, replace that piston. I might have broken it. Or, like, uh, pick it up and then put it back down again. I might have broken it. Let's take all of the ore out of there. And let's finish off this line. So this line is operating at minus 79, which means, theoretically, if, if the information I've been given is correct, I should not see Minox on this line at all. Let's just be sure this is working. Should go around that corner. I think it is, I just can't see it for some reason. It's blinking. Yep, there it goes. Beautiful, beautiful. We have iron coming upstairs automatically. Lovely, excellent. So now that's out of the way. Let's start working on our PCB or our research Research Products Manufacturing Center? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to call it exactly. Let's build a couple more store toppers so that we can do this properly. Although, you know, I'm tempted to just do... I'm tempted to just do a couple mini hoppers because that sh should be sufficient for now. I actually don't want this system to go very fast until I remember entirely how to do this properly. So let's go back and let's put this mini hopper here. We're going to put that right here. No, we're gonna put the mini hopper right here. Yes, and then we're gonna build, uh, I guess regular conveyor belts is perfectly fine. And I think we're gonna have to build, if I remember correctly, we're gonna have to build a conveyor turntable. That's gonna be really important here too. Okay, so first things first, what do we need to build the next machine? The next machine is, the extrusion is copper plates and tin plates. So easy peasy. Oh, and we'll add conveyor here. And another mini hopper here. I guess it does, this one doesn't have to be. Yeah, yeah, let's just do a regular hopper here. And we need 10 and 10, right? So we need, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I just want to remember. Is it, how many of each do I need? Extrusion needs uh, five and three. So let's do five and three. Now, another thing uh, somebody pointed out, you can actually go into the inventory of an actual hopper now. Isn't that cool? Um, otherwise, I don't remember, is it control T? Yes, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. So there's our five copper bars, and then we do three tin. One, whoops. <laughs> uh, I think I just picked them all up. Ah, crap. <laughs> Control, I hit control Q instead of control T. Two, three, and then one. One, two, three, four. Is that working? I don't know. Wow, that, that mini hopper is super slow. I should have just used a uh, a regular, yeah, let's just use a regular storage hopper. My bad, my bad. I, I I totally thought that mini hopper was faster than that, but yeah, it's not. Nope, it's, it's very, very slow. So let's do a regular storage hopper. Uh, let's just get a couple of those built. Ooh, I just used up all of something. Oh, I think I used up all my tin. <laughs> that was silly. Oh, man. Okay, that's fine. 
F6, and then I don't know how much how much more do we need here. So uh, I for inventory. So we've got two copper plates. So we need uh, three more copper plates. One, two, three, and then two, and then one, two, three. There we go. So that should finish off all of the plates that we need to build the next machine. I remember this. This was actually one of the more interesting parts of the game is figuring out the whole research system and how it worked and building the proper machine to get that working properly because uh, it is it is a it is a little bit tricky the first time you play with it but uh, I, I think I remember how to do it I haven't looked it up or anything again I just I think I remember how it all works um, let's just do a quick check on our smelting system here let's make sure iron is coming down the line perfect we're, we can actually increase the speed at which we're uh, mining that iron now but it's it's not a huge rush it's not a huge rush at this point in time because there's still a lot of things we've got to get in place before we, you know, start going crazy with our manufacturing, like having more smelters. Okay, so, five copper plate, three tin plate. We're good to go. Let's build our next machine. So, we go to the extru extrusion plant, which turns everything, turns it into wires. Dressing. Now, does it turn, does it turn bars to wires? I'm pretty sure it does. So we're gonna need one copper wire and one copper plate for the next one. So let's build our copper plate first. One, control T, perfect, there's our copper plate. And then our wire. Uh, let's go back to here, let's do a couple more. Let's just have this thing going the other way for now. I, I'm gonna do a turntable when we get going here, but uh, right now it's not necessary. Uh, have enough for that. Okay, so let's get that down. Let's do another storage hopper right here, and let's do our new machine. Hold on, where's the new machine? <laughs> there it is! The extrusion plant! Throw the extrusion pl <laughs> No, no, no! Extrusion plant, there we go, excellent. And that should make us wire, is that right? Converts bars into wires. And we needed one copper wire, I believe. One copper wire to build the coiler plant. So one copper wire, excellent, we're good to go. So let's go back to F6 here, and we'll Control T. Perfect, one copper. And that will make our one copper wire. Excellent. Man, I love this game. So good. It's so good. There we go, copper. Doesn't really look like wire, does it? Well, I guess, oh, there it goes. Now it looks like wire. There we go. Excellent, copper wire. Let's build our next machine. Lovely. Oh, I needed five copper plates. Sorry, my bad. My bad. I thought I only needed one. Whoops. Two, three, four. That'll be super quick. Super quick! And in the meantime, let's just, uh... Oh, another thing I'd like to build is a, uh, slime pit! A slime killing pit! So, I don't remember where that thing is. I think it was near the beginning. Oh, here it is. So, a slime attractor! This sector... Oh, uh, yeah, we're gonna need copper plates and PCBs for that anyway. So, let's build, uh, six more copper plates while we're sitting here, just to have them on hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we'll grab the copper plate that's in there right now. Perfect. And let's build our next machine. The next machine is the coiler plant, and that coils the wire into coils. Very cool. And for the PCB assembling machine, we're going to need one copper coil and five copper plates. So let's do one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that machine's backed up a little bit. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna add, uh, let's move this machine back for a second. Let's move that one right here. So the extrusion plant can go right here for now. And then the coiler, the coiler can go right here, place that, and I think, Machine's a little slow. Is it empty? It's empty. Okay, so now we can go rotate, and we can add one more copper bar to this. Excellent. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Excellent. So it's going to turn it into wire, and then it's going to coil the wire, and then put it in the and put it in the box. Lovely, lovely. We've got a few extra plates there for the uh for the uh for the slime, slime uh, tractor, whatever it is. Okay, so we've got a copper coil. That should be good enough. Now we can build the PCB assembling plant. Man, I love this. So much fun. Copper coil and copper plate. Excellent. So now we've got the PCB assembling plant. The PCB assembling plant 
Uh, just one second here. Uh, automatically converting metal coils into PCBs does not require... So, yeah, we just add another uh, another machine to this row here. Let's throw the PCB assembling plant right here, like so. And then we'll do one more conveyor. And then a storage hopper at the end. So there is our manufacturing plant for uh, PCBs and uh, PCBs and plates. That should be good to go. Now, what do we need to build uh, defenses? That's what we're doing this for. So for the turret mark one, we're going to need hardened PCBs and iron plates. So I'm pretty sure the hardened PCBs are from iron, iron coils. Okay, so, and how many do of those do we want? Let's just uh, double check this here. So we need just one and one to make, uh, sorry, one of each to make a turret plus some tin bars. So let's do 10 to start. I think that's probably a good plan. And I think I've got some iron on me. Whoops, F6. And we're gonna start with our plates, rotate. And let's do... Oh, I don't have an iron on me. Oh, wow. We should be processing iron now, regularly. Ah, there's some iron. Excellent. That's not going to be enough, though. I'm going to need a little bit more. I'm going to need one more piece of iron in there. Okay, it's, it's working on iron right now. So we'll get this started. So we need ten, ten plates. Uh, control. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to need 10 of the uh, PCBs, right? The hardened PCBs, which is also made from iron and just the same exact process going right to the end and coming out with a iron PCB. Uh, I don't remember. I think I had it set up before so that I had two or three of the stamping plants together in an array because the stamping was pretty slow. I, d I don't remember. I don't remember how I had it set up before, but uh, this is a good start. This At least this will get us some of the basic stuff. And I think if I did a turntable here, it would evenly distribute them. I'm pretty sure. So I could have put all 20 iron in there and then we would have been good to go. But let's grab that last piece of iron. We will have defenses up in no time. No time at all, folks. Uh, oh, let's rotate this. So we're going the other direction to make our PCBs. And control one, two... Whoops, that is copper. Ah, uh, hold on. Ah! My bad. Whoopsies! Let's get that machine down there. I guess it doesn't really hurt to build some of the extra stuff. I just don't like extra stuff kicking around. Because you only have so much inventory space, too. We can always put stuff in boxes and such. But, uh, yeah, just, you know, saving myself some headaches later. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's like Sesame Street. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> so now we've got our iron plates, which is perfect. We should be able to build these in no time. We'll have our 10 turrets up and running in no time. Perfect! We just need the hardened PCBs, and then we are good to go. So coiling, going into the PCB machine, and then popping out as PCBs into our little box, and we have hardened PCBs. Ah, lovely! Very, very nice. So let's go down and grab our... I'm gonna go down and grab my lithium and stuff, and I'll meet you guys back up here in a second. Alrighty, good to go. Let's grab our hardened PCBs, and we should be able to build our first ever turrets in this playthrough. I am so excited. I hope these, you know, these turrets don't have quite the range as the turret mark twos. Uh, but, you know, I should actually take a look. Let's build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we're out of tin. Oh no, oh no, we're out of tin. Ah, uh, that's okay. We've got nine on us. That should be good, excellent. Let's throw that on our main bar here. Let's throw that on the end. So now we should be able to build the rest of our conveyor system for the lithium mine. Uh, which is lovely. Let's build this all the way down. This is where the lithium the lithium conveyor belt is going to come down. Ah, I forgot to do something. Hold on, let's go back up. I forgot to do something. I guess it doesn't really matter. I can probably do this on my own. Oh, we're out of tin anyway. What I do, I needed to build some more. I needed to build some uh, regular PCBs and some regular lasers so that we could get a proper amount of power down here. I Yeah, we're not going to have enough power to provide all of those uh, turrets. Uh, with enough power so they can properly defend the... Ah! Ah, oh, man, that hurt. Ouch. <laughs> Whoopsies! Uh, yeah. Oh, well. So, this goes right down through the center like this. 
And I think what we'll do... Uh, let's just go all the way down, that's fine. So yeah, I've got a couple blocks here I need to take out uh, that are coal that I need to take out with the super dig before I can actually get the elevator in here. But it doesn't matter because I can't build the power compressors quite yet. Or I won't. I can, I, maybe I can. No, I did pick up a little bit more research. But I think I need a fair amount more to get that done. So what I'm going to have to do is figure out... Uh, I think these have a range. These turrets... 0H. These turrets... Uh, these turrets have a range of 16. So every... 32, every 32, I need to have another one of these ready. So basically, we're going to do one here, and we're going to put a... I guess we'll just do another one of these lasers here. Whoops. We'll just do another one of these basic lasers here. Why is that happening? Because <laughs> I keep hitting the wrong button, that's why that's happening. So yeah, oh my man, I can't believe how quickly time went today. Time went just, just so fast. So, and then we're going to do our turrets, you know, wherever it doesn't really matter. They don't have to look pretty, I guess. I don't like them sitting like that, but whatever. It's going to it's gonna have to do for now. And then uh, six to 32 meters away, we're going to do another one. So let's go up. I guess we could start building... Oh, we don't have any conveyors down here either. <laughs> Man! Okay, I guess we're going to have to wait until next time to finish this off. But yay, we got one turret placed uh, that's vastly underpowered because we don't have enough power coming down here. And I'm going to get the rest of this conveyor up and the turrets up for next time so that uh, I don't have to waste your guys' time doing all of that. And then we're going to have full automation for our lithium and our iron, which is extremely exciting for me. But that's, you know, getting these basics up is is pretty key. And now with the basics up, we should be able to, like, add on to this mine very easily. We can add some of the uh, some of the engines in here and maybe even some drill heads and who knows, whatever. We can, we can set this up really, really nicely. And same with the lithium mine. We can get that all set up nicely. But with that, all of that out of the way... I don't, know, I don't know if you guys can hear me when I'm grappling. It sounds really loud to me. But with that, all of that out of the way, we're, we're going to have full automation for our main four products coming into our base. Now, uh, we're not going to be able to smelt it fast enough once we get it all up with the proper conveyor belts. Even the uh, copper and the tin, I'm going to upgrade those as well, as well as get a couple of mines in there. I want to keep those conveyor belts full at all time, but... The problem is, the only thing that we have left now to process that ore is the basic ore smelter that we can build, and the basic ore smelter is terrible! Oh, and we can't even build it. It requires an unknown material. I don't know what that unknown material is. Another thing I'd like to start doing is I want to get uh, either the windows or the strats. I forget what they're called. Hold, hold on. Let's see here. We've got the... Uh, we've got the... Uh, windows. I think I build them from here. So this is another thing I'm going to be doing on my own on the in-between. Oh man, I don't, I don't remember where they are. I think I build them on my person somewhere. Where are the windows? Why can't I find the windows? That's so weird. I saw them earlier, now I can't find them. Totally bizarre. But anyway, we're gonna build a uh, windows down the center for our power system. And another thing I might start doing on my own is I'm going to build a second level just below all of this for ore processing. So all of the iron, all of the lithium, all of the tin, all of the copper are gonna be coming in on the lower level. And then over here, we're gonna be building our research area, but I'm gonna build it above ground this time. I'm gonna do it a fair ways away. And then the actual laboratory will build over here or something. It's gonna look really cool. I'm really excited. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time I have for you today. We have a long way to go to get there, but uh, we, we actually made some decent progress today. Getting the basics of this, the bare bones of this machine up is really important going forward. So, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you tomorrow with another episode, probably another one tomorrow. All right, take care. Bye, bye, bye.